Mo Tiber. Night, Captain Nancy. This is Resistance Homesteading. Uh, we're going to start another long form here. Um, why are you all... I should, should be, the show should be called Sweating with the Oldies. <laughs> sweating. Is that what you're so, so sweating, sweating with the Oldies. Sweating with the Oldies. Why are See you all sweaty? Doing dishes. Doing dishes. In 92 degree weather outside. Outside. Huh? Yeah. That, that's, that's we're not homesteaders. No. We're campers. That's what Full time campers. Full time campers. <laughs> anyway, we are going to start on another chicken run. Uh, this one is just going to be chicken wire, not hardware cloth like our other one. <clears throat> pro homesteading tip or whatever you want to call it something that we've learned um the four foot high one or the three foot high one that we built it's difficult to get into the it, you can't get in it you gotta pretty much have an open top and shouldn't have done it that way so reevaluating this one is going to be six foot tall because i have a roll of two foot and a roll of four foot um we are running out of two by fours so and our financial situation is pretty dire. So, yeah, so we're, um, I've got a couple of hundred dollars worth of cryptocurrency that I've been trying to hold forever, you know, trying to, you know, get some money off of it, gambling basically. But um, I'm going to cash out about 150 of that tomorrow and buy like 20 more two by fours because I need it for the rest of the chicken coop build and I'm going to need it for the rest of this uh, chicken run build that I'm getting ready to start. And I need this to be done by tomorrow afternoon um, after church because our guineas need to get out of the cage that they're in. Yeah, they're they're oh, yeah. really cramped, and I got to fix that. So, but like always, we're making do with what we have. And right now, we've got some 12 foot two by fours. So the run is going to be eight by four um, by six. You know, six foot tall, eight foot long, four foot wide. And um, that way, you know, we can get in it and uh, they can have, you know, some more area. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll take clips as I go, like always, and put it together in a long form. So back to work in the very hot weather. Okay. So, guys, uh, I had to touch my nose. I he think, always does that. I think I got some sun today. I, I feel like I've got some sun today. But um, you can see, so one of, that's, one of those is going to be the bottom of this chicken run. One of these is going to be, you know, screwed together and set at four foot. And then the top right there is going to be two foot above that one. So we're going to have a little four foot tall door to get into this six foot run. And then um, over here, I've got six foot two buys that are going to act as, um, oh, you know, my my posts basically so um and then i'm going to use some cross bracing and stuff um i just wanted you to see a general layout of what i was doing so i've got you know three exactly the same four by eight size frames and then what i'll do is i'll set my posts in the corner here after i stack the frames i'm going to screw the frames together stack them on top of each other and then i'll set my posts lift the middle one to where it's supposed to be screw it and then lift the top one to where it's... Well, actually, I'll do the top one and then the middle one. And then... However you do it. Just right. And then roll. Then I'll roll the whole thing over. So versus trying to build it in place, um, we're going to build them in, in platforms and then put them where they need to be. You'll, you'll see what I mean as I go. All right. Back to work. So, hey, guys. Continuing with the uh, chicken run build. Now that we went and... Uh, Picked up a whole bunch of two by fours and some scrap, and uh, there's also some stickers, one or uh, one one and a half inch stickers that I'm going to use for my sawmill. Um, my buddy over at Home Depot hooks me up with them. Um, you know, I can get like ten at a time, so I just collect them as I go. But you can see we've got the top is on the bottom. And then the middle is, is the gonna middle. is in the middle, and that's gonna sit at two foot for because I'm gonna run two foot chicken wire around the the top section, and then there's gonna be four foot to the bottom, and then the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set these two by four posts on the corners. We're gonna lift the top one, screw it, then lift the middle one, screw it, and square it as we go. So and then we'll brace it flip it over, paint it, you know, encase it in wire and staple it. We'll take clips as we go, but 
that's the general plan. It's a little different than building a house, I guess, you know, um, but just for chickens. Yeah. But you know, we, we want our chickens to be well taken care of. So, and they deserve it because we've had them cramped up for too long. And so, all right, back to work guys. So now you can see that I've got my posts, my two by four posts, right? I've got them just screwed to that bottom rack, right? And then I've got the other uh, racks. The one's going to sit at two feet and the one's going to be at the bottom, right? And you see how I got my two by four on the outside to allow myself a stapling surface for the chicken wire. Now, instead of just lifting this one all the way up and trying to hold it and screw it, what I'm actually going to do is cut my spacers that I'm going to put on this edge over here. And then I'm going to lift the whole middle one, screw it down, and then put the spacers and lift it and screw it down. So I'm going to take those measurements and then cut those four um, two by fours and into what the lengths I need them to support it as I go as I'm building it up. And then I'm going to, bra you know, cut braces and then roll it over, staple it, frame in the door. The, the part that really sucks is framing in the door freehand without building it in the wall. But, you know, again, this is a build as I go chicken run that uh, no plans, you know, no, I'm not really like looking at pictures or anything. I'm just coming off my head how I think it should go. So we'll see how it turns out in the end, but you see where I'm at in the process. Um, I'm also cooking biscuits and gravy for uh, me and Nancy and uh, Evie and Jimmy. Um, I got the biscuits in the oven, seven minutes on the timer right there. I'm about to go get started on sausage all while I'm doing this stuff too. So that's how we roll out here on the homestead, man. You know, we're trying to get our, our uh, facilities built up where we can be self-sufficient as quickly as possible. So we are investing all of our time, energy, and resources into doing that because truth be told, you know, I don't know how long you're going to be able to go to the store and buy chicken or milk or fruit or anything. I mean, that's kind of part of the whole resistance homesteading. You see my shirt. It says, God remembers us like he remembered Noah. I got this at the Ark Encounter when me and Nancy went out there. And uh, we're firm believers here, you know. Uh, he who perseveres till the end shall be saved, right? All right, back to work. You mean that can't be like the guy on... <laughs> right, guy on the... Yeah, anyway. So that's Richard, guys. He don't like being on camera. We ain't going to leave him on camera. Say peace, Richard. Peace. Okay, long form. <laughs> See, he don't like camera. We, we, he, he was laughing at us on the update. But nobody watches the long form, so you guys don't ever see this stuff, man. That's what's funny about it, because we tell people, you know, watch the long form. That's where we'll... You know, they, you don't get you to know, no, you don't get to know nobody or no, maybe catch an opinion or, you know, the viewpoint or anything like that. And people don't watch and they got the attention span of Morgan? gold. Morgan? Sorry. Attention span of goldfish, just like I was saying. <laughs> Did she? She got out again? Our, our, one of our dogs is uh, getting out of a harness repeatedly and, the reason she's in a harness is because she's gotten out of everything else, too. So, um, anyway, for the long form, you guys see what I'm doing here. I've got spacers in for the length of this minus the two buys. This is two foot. This is four foot. I've got four foot and two foot chicken wire that I'm going to put around. I still have to frame in a door. I'll take a clip for that. All right. Love you guys. So I just wanted to show you guys, like, you see how dark it is out here? You see those little Walmart solar lights that I've been lighting my job with to set these braces all around? And then I'm over here at my workbench. Nancy's holding light for me, so forgive the lighting. I failed that class. Over here, minus the lid, but... I've got a pot lid because we're also cooking, but anyway, over here you can see I'm I'm rough framing out in my head with scrap how I can build my doors. You know, I'm not doing anything. I'm just looking at what I got, taking measurements and figuring out, okay, how can I use this up 
best to make, you know, my little 24 inch by four foot door so we can get in and out of both ends of the chicken coop. And I've got some scrap here and over there. But, you know, it, it's not dark out and stuff and we're still up and working. I mean, and this is, this is every day out here, ain't it? Yes, it is. See, I told you I had a lighting operator back there. Chief Grip, Nightcap with Nancy, Mo Tiber, Resistance Homesteading, and we out. Just kidding, guys. I wouldn't do you like that. Anyway, <laughs> now that I've got the camera and the light, you can see what I've done. I've braced that. And then on both ends, probably on opposite corners, we're going to have doors. So when we get butted up against the actual chicken coop with the run it'll be easy to open the doors that is the bottom up there and the top down here and then since i made the crack about the lid i wanted to show you there's merlin out here walking around like a big kitty but if, if you come back here see nancy's got the big shop light i'm out here working on the wall with the little solar lights and Nancy's got the big shop light. We got another one, but I didn't hook it up tonight. Anyway, this is what the people get to see when they watch the long form, huh, babe? Come our, watch what I'm making. Our ghetto gypsy camp, huh? What do you what, come watch what you're making? What do you make it? Dang, Nancy, what you got going on over here? I have <laughs> a lid on the ground. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't have counter. And I'm done using it. So I have potatoes, fried potatoes, and some sauce, some cheddar brats. Nice. And mix it together. And, and it's a sloppy meal. And we're going to eat? And we're about to smash. It looks like good food to me. That is good. I already tasted it. Nancy was making fun of me because I'm wearing my, my headlamp. Let me show you. <laughs> Back to the food. <laughs> right. You guys want to see the food, not the goofy dude in the headlamp. It, you can really see it because of the light, but they get the gist. All right. We love you guys, man. I'll show you. My, you know, this is a long form, so mm. we'll be building the chicken run again tomorrow. Good night. So, hey, guys. Um, You can see I've got all of my, you know, scrap uh, doors and cabinet wood from in the trailer that we took out and i'm going to attempt to use the, uh this for the majority of my door frames um because i need a door on both ends there's going to be one here and then one on that end so that way when we butt it up against the chicken coop we have a door that can go into the chicken coop and a door that can go outside so we can gain access to the run um, like I said, I'm going to attempt to use as much repurposed uh, cabinetry wood from the trailer as I can, um, framing up them doors. Um, then we're going to paint it and wrap it, staple it, and we're done. Um, been really trying to get it done, but I don't, I don't know if you can tell in the video. Sky's pretty gray, got some rumbling going on. We're expecting showers today. So I'm going to get out... You know tape measure skill saw some basic stuff and i'm going to get to work on this um not really sure how far i'm going to get before it starts raining though but got to get it done i'm trying to get it done and you know with work and you know pulling some overtime and nancy pulling long 11 12 hour shifts um you know we get home and we got a couple of hours of daylight to to build and you know, then we got rain to throw in the mix too. So I'm going to get to work and try to get some of this done. Um, I'll take a clip if I get anything accomplished. Uh, either way, I'll take a clip, but just letting you guys know what I'm doing. You can see that I'm repurposing what I have though. Um, we try to make do with uh, repurposed materials as much as possible. That window over there was gotten from Facebook Marketplace, I think for free. Um, We've got, you know, over here you can see we've got a ton of windows um, for cold, cold frames in a greenhouse is the plan. So I'm going to get to work. 
take another clip in a little while so hey guys um it's day whatever of the chicken coop build and i'm getting ready to frame up my doors um i'm looking at my door material and a lot of it is off size from the one and a half that i need over there see nancy over there painting hi nancy anyway i am also gonna have to use a two by for my uh hinge post you know for what the hinge is attached to because even though the door itself can be fairly flimsy um as long as it's secure you know and solidly framed you want it attached to something that's not so um you know i'm trying to make use of the wood that i have available and unfortunately sometimes i got to use two buys when i don't want to so um we got home from work a little while ago. I just did a short and stuff, and we're just getting started on working. So I'm hoping to have this done this weekend, both the coop and the run, uh, so we can get our birds comfortable and people can be happy, and birds can be happy. So back to work. Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you this. You can see I got my two doors framed. That's going to be my access door, or Nancy's, I should say, access door to the run. And then the little one is going to be the access door so they can get into the coop. But if you look right here, you see how I had to unscrew this? Because the two foot run right here, I've got to put behind. Now, I could put another two by four to bring this surface out to here to staple it but i don't want to waste two by four so instead i unscrewed it and i'm going to run the um chicken wire behind this so i just wanted to show you guys that little detail of the construction so i want to get a little bit more detailed on that last thing i was talking about okay you see what i did here i unscrewed that and i ran the chicken wire behind it i did the same up here right you see what I did? I ran the chicken wire behind it because I didn't want to cut. Hi, Nancy. Hi. You guys hear that owl? I heard an owl. Yeah, we got an owl back there. My neighbor's not happy because owls get chickens. But see, I could have ran a two by four down here, right? And then I could have ran this wire on the outside like I will on this edge. You see how this is all flush and flat I can run the chicken wire on the outside but here I went inside because I didn't want to waste well I don't want to say waste I don't have the budget to cut wood put it that way you know if I had another two three four twenty seven two by fours then yeah I could have done that but I'm trying to be as efficient with my wood as I can so instead to secure it, I went behind and then stapled to this edge. And yeah, they can push in the, you know, an animal or whatever could push against the top, but this is a run. This is not a secure cage. And, that, and hence, why we're using chicken wire and not hardware cloth. Because, you know, chicken wire is designed, just so you guys know, to keep birds in. It's not designed to keep predators out. That's what hardware cloth is. See, over there, that run that we built a while back, that's got hardware cloth covering. And my big birds that are currently in it. Okay, bugs. Anyway. So, yeah, we're uh, probably going to call it a night. There's a bunch of wet paint on this, and I got, you know, you can see what stage we're at. We got the doors ready to go, ready to be hung. The big one there, the little one, the coop door is going to be over there. And then the rest of this is going to be wrapped in cloth. And, of course, you know, we're going to have to roll it as we do sections, wrapping it with the wire. But I don't want to get all covered in the barn paint. Nancy already, uh, she already Going got to her shirt. not today Satan shirt. Yeah, so anyway, all right, guys, back to work. So it's Saturday. Um, 
I just did the short bear plegic coffee uh, sent us a package and sponsorship of the homestead um, tallow dream cream talk with Tiffany has done the same as well as uh, faith Farah of uh, faithful reefs wreaths <laughs> sorry um, and we just you know we really appreciate all you guys man being willing to just send us gifts basically and hopefully soon my homestead will be having products and we uh we will be able to reciprocate the favors so yeah apparently i can't talk too well today anyway i wanted to show you guys so i'm starting the very tedious task of wiring everything you see i don't know if you can see over here too well but you know i'm starting to wire everything and of course i've got to roll the structure as i'm going so um but i did want to show you when you open up a roll of chicken wire or hardware cloth that's always wrapped with this single strand wire to keep the roll closed and i always try to find the end and keep them because this comes in handy and you've already paid for it so just a little quick tip i'm going to get to work because i got a ton of work to do i really want to get this most of this project done the run's going to be done regardless but i'd like to get the coop built too so we can just be done with the bird housing and i can focus on the next project um not really sure how i'm going to put these long forms together probably the run separately than the coop so um i don't it's already bad enough people get bored and don't watch our videos and you know i, I don't want to say that i'm you know censored or anything like that because hopefully i'm not i'm really careful about what i say but i have noticed a uh, sharp decline in the even viewership on the shorts so not really sure what's going on with that but don't matter man we're still plugging along it you know part of it is yeah of course we want to get monetized man it'd be nice to have another income stream but truth be told i like sharing our lives with you nancy likes sharing you know things with you she's starting to get more comfortable and you know we like to we, we really like to try to maybe inspire people a little bit you know like we're out here broke guys we we did this on shoestring budget and credit and Credit's kind of shot now, but we've got the majority of the tools and stuff we need. So, you know, we made a decision and we, you know, we get them questions about resistance homesteading. Dude, Michigan sucked, man. Like they tax you to death. You, you, if you find a piece of property there, they're liable to say, oh, you know, the spotted freaking worm lives on your property. You can't farm. You can't cut down the trees because that's their habitat, whatever. You know, they just policy you to death and they want you in these tiny houses and now they're building electric smart highways. And I mean, I think that's coming throughout the country eventually, but at least out here, it, not as fast. You know what I mean? They probably got some other type plans for out here, but, you know, we're resisting and that's why we're resisting this homestead. You know, we weren't going to just sit there and get, you know, go broke in Michigan until we were forced to work at Amazon and live in a shoebox apartment, you know, and rent our clothes. So we're out here. I'd rather make my own clothes, you know, come down to it. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to work and quit rambling. I got to be careful of what I say. And now the dogs are barking. So we love you guys back to work. So, um, you guys will, I don't know. I don't know if you'll enjoy it, but hopefully you'll learn from it. So you see, I've got the that side done and I'm almost done with that side. I still got to unscrew this to put it behind. But I went to start doing the top and guess what yours truly did? He cut these braces at 48 inches, right? Because his chicken wire is 48 inches. When in reality, it should have been 45 inches because now the whole thing is 49 inches or uh, 51 inches, which is too wide for the chicken wire. So now I have to use another two by four. Well, actually two, because I have to have nailers there, 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 and there to staple the chicken wire to. Um, it's been, you know, no excuse, but it's been so long since I framed and did construction. I find myself uh, repeatedly forgetting to take into account the width of the two bys and the you know, the joists and stuff. So just let this be a lesson to double check your measurements 
because now I got to use another $8 in wood to fix my mistake. Plus, I got to paint and everything else. So, yeah, just don't make the mistakes I do, guys. So, hey, guys, uh, we just got home from church a little while ago. I uploaded my shorts. Uh, <laughs> my short, I should say. Jeez, man. Anyway... I wish you guys could hear the music that we play out here. We normally got uh, the Dr. Clown protest music playlist going. Sometimes some Pink Floyd or something like that. But I always mute it because I don't want a copyright strike. So you see I got my doors hung. I've got the, the what is the top but is really the side wrapped. I've got this wrapped. I'm working on what is the top right now. But I wanted to show you guys something. So, this here, when I countersunk my screws and pulled them out, I split a little bit, which kind of, you know, is sucky, but we'll touch up paint that. This is what I wanted to show you. So, I went to put this latch on in the middle, and you can see what happened. I split my wood because I didn't pre-drill holes. And these, honestly, guys, the screws that come with these little latches and hinges, you see I use the the white hinges that match the latch not that that matters but you know they're fairly cheap and the screws are horrible so chicken wire is horrible to work with it's hard to get it stretched tight and looking really good you know especially when you're i don't know building as you go and yeah anyway so i'm gonna get back to work and then we're going to roll it, finish wrapping it. I'll take another clip or two, and we will be done with this video. Thank God. Believe me, man, building animal cages is not quite as fun as building houses. Working with the hardware cloth and the chicken wire is, is just a pain, guys. But we got to do what we got to do, and we got to get it done. So love you, and get back to work. Mo Tiber. Night, Cap and Nancy in the chicken run. Okay. So, we just finished this not too long ago. Um, putting this stuff up was a pain in the butt. It really was. It was. Um, we got this door in the front to give us access to the run. And then we have that door in the back. Go ahead and open it, babe. Pull it. Is it locked? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay, hold fine. on. Let me walk around and unlock it. Okay, so now you guys see that one goes up and we can, we're going to put a way to hook it up there so that way we can back this up against the coop or the other run or however we want to do it. So, um, but I also want to point out to you guys that you see this daylight out here? We ain't done yet. Like we're still going to be working. We're about to load this up in the truck, move it back there. We're going to put the new, uh, the guineas in the old, ru the run that's wherever it's at back there. That one, the guineas are going in that one. And then the whole chicken flock is going in this one temporarily. And then we got to tarp off the back end of it because we're expecting uh, weather. Some yeah. Horrible weather. Yeah. Hurricane. Apparently we get hurricanes in Missouri sometimes if they go through Texas. And people around here have been talking about it and we know it's coming, so... We're about to do a short, um, and then we're going to load the truck. So that, you know, just gives you a little perspective on our length of our work day. And it's Sunday, man. We went to church this morning, and, you know, then we finished this up, and Nancy's being a goofball. There. All right. We love you guys. If, if you made it to the end, yeah, if you made it to the end of this thing, you know, congrats. I, I know that people don't really watch the long forms, right? And they don't like and share and subscribe. I mean, they do to an extent, but they need to do it more all the yeah. time, all the time. Because we're down here, you know, busting our butts because we had to come down here because we were gro going broke in Michigan. Like, you know, the it's unbelievable the cost of living up there. And I mean, we're, we're broke down here, but at least we're down here and not up there. You know, because this I, is home. This is forever home. Right. And I wouldn't I wouldn't want I don't want to see a city that big and that grimy ever again for like 
where I came from. Lansing was, you know, it was turning into a bad place to live, you know. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. You guys might not even see that part. I might cut it. I might uh, cut this one in. You know, yeah, man, when we left to come down here, it was, uh, you know, we weren't ready for it. it you know, we um, had to make the, the, the move. And, you know, if we weren't down here doing this stuff, we'd be up there dreaming about doing this stuff. So I guess that's kind of my point, right? Exactly. You know? Like, it, we wanted to build stuff, and the only where place to build stuff is on our property or where we're sitting now temporarily right who knows so we are moving our chicken run from where it was built to over here where it's going to sit temporarily until the rest of the coop is put together so nancy is back in the run up. That's probably good. And then we're gonna manipulate it by hand from here. All right, back to work guys. So uh, we're packing up for the night. You can see the guineas are now in that uh, chicken, rabbit, run, cage, whatever we're gonna call that. And then our entire flock is now in the new run. Um, we're putting our coop and run when it's done back over there. So we have to transport all the wall sections back over there. That's going to be another video. But this is going to be the end of this one. We finally have a little bit more room for our chicken flock. Although we don't yet have the ability to have proper nesting boxes and all that and the guineas are much happier so we're getting a little closer than we were but we're not where we want to be as always guys we love you nothing you can do about it